Well, this is Pat Walker of Mission Winners, making a training coaching video for everybody. I'd like to just explain a few things. Charts is a simple foundations, but a lot of people never really think about it. Charts are a reflection of people's decisions and emotions. Decisions of buying or, or greed or panic. It's all reflected in the price and volume bars. And it's important to look at them. You don't have to overthink it. After you get a few simple principles down, you can scan charts so quickly and no more than most people, which will help you make better investing decisions. I'll give you an example. Here's Band. Band on September 1st ran up, closed just above the midpoint of the range. It didn't close that strong. What do you like to see when, think about it, let's be pragmatic. What do you like to see when a stock's advancing in price? Well, you'd like to see it closing fairly strong. The inverse is you don't want to see it gapping up and reversing down. This stock rallied up and just closed basically at its midpoint on a pickup in volume. What does that tell you? There was buying pressure, but there was some selling pressure on that bar also. How can I say this? because it didn't close near the highs of the day. So there was some buying, but it was met with some selling too, especially when you consider where it closed, right? Basically almost at the midpoint. So then it falls. By the way, the volume in this bar was okay. It was above average volume, so it's constructive. Well, then it falls, falls a little bit more, falls a bit more and falls a bit more down to the 50 day. Note this, what's the plus? The volume on these four selling bars are less than the up volume bar. And then it just kind of meanders around. And you can say, Pat, that's a good bar. I'd like you to look very closely at this bar. And I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to enlarge this. Look at this bar. This is why, and this is what we do at Mission Winners. You got to look at each bar. You can say it's a green bar. It's a good bar on heavy volume. Look at the open on this bar. See it? To the left. Runs up. Look at the close. This closed below where it opened. It was met with selling pressure. Okay? And again, it opens here on the left, runs up, closes below where it's open on a big pickup in volume. There was selling on this bar. And then it meanders around. And then it has this bar right here. That's a good bar. But note again, it gapped down and it fell, rallies up strong. And on this bar, you see the little close right there? I'll make this bigger for you. See that little hash mark? Closed just basically at the midpoint of the day. It closed up on the day, but it's not that powerful of a bar. And it was met with, it had a lot of volume on it. There was churning in this bar. And like, you can say, how can you say that? The dang thing didn't close near a highs. It's closed it near its midpoint. Just twisting around a little bit. This bar, just an inside bar on decent volume, closed above where it's open. So what's the plan here? Looking at this, this bar shows right here that it closed, okay, top half of its range, almost, or just right at the top half. So it didn't close that strong. So this bar is met with some selling pressure. This bar closed strong, but not really, just a hair above the midpoint. It's not that strong. You combine it with the action of these other bars, including this one, there's some selling in this. Here's my price alert. We're saying if it takes out these tops, perhaps it would be a buy and could run. Or if it takes out these highs, advance it one day. And look at, this is today, Monday, 921. Gaps up just a little bit. Rallies right up, almost to the old highs. And since then, what has it done? It's backed off on this bar. It's backed off eight points off the highs already. Now, I'm not saying it's going to stop there and not go up higher. I'm not saying that. But I am saying, if you combine looking at this bar, and you combine looking at this bar, and this bar, and this bar, you build a case and say, you know what this animal needs to do? It needs to take out the tops of these bars right here, this bar, and it needs to do it on volume. 
And as of this moment, as I'm making this video, this stock's just a little bit above the midpoint of its range. Volume's heavy, but it's really not doing too much, is it? So what's it telling? There's a seller. There's been a seller in this stock. And that seller, those sellers are still there. Now let's consider this. We have a little cup formation here. Perhaps it will form a handle for a couple of days. The last of the sellers will be gone. The market would be decent and it pushes through these tops on volume. But at this point in time, another bar, where at this moment, it's met with some selling pressure. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you, just training and coaching. What I do at Mission Winners, what we do at Mission Winners, is study each price and volume bar. Open, high, low, close volume. There's tremendous power in knowing that. Is it that hard to do? Heck no. You can go through, you train your eyes and mind, and you will be better than most people. You will know more than most people, and you will make better investing decisions. Anyway, it's what I'm doing at Mission Winners. It's what we do at Mission Winners. Training, coaching, the nuances of the charts. By the way, no day trading, no scalping, no five-minute charts. I don't look at five-minute charts. I hardly ever look at 10-minute charts. I look at daily and weekly, and when it's approaching a pivot, I'll take it down to 30-minute and an hourly for volume surges. That's it. That's it. And it works. And you ride a trend, and one simple trend can pay for a lot of different things. We're great at riding the trends. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you. Chart analysis. Open, high, low, close volume. There's power right there for you. And I thank you.